So now we're actually in a position to answer homework question one. So your values are going to be different uh, depending on uh, the question. WebAssign will often uh, randomize certain variables and uh, the, the distances in, in the qu uh, first question are going to be one of those types of things. So we'll just do a generic example here. So uh, one question one might ask, very, very similar to homework question one, is uh, by what factor does the gravitational force decrease a distance of 10 radii, earth radii, I guess I should say, compared to the surface. compared to the surface. Right? That should be surface. Okay? So by what factor does the gravitational force decrease a distance of 10 Earth radii compared to the surface? So to answer this question, let's first look at the Earth and Let's maybe let somebody be standing on the, on the surface. And there's a reason I'm drawing him sideways. So if here's the center, here's one Earth radii. We'll call this R, okay? And so in this case, the gravitational force is going to be G times the mass of the Earth times the mass of the person divided by Earth's radius squared. Now what happens if I take that person to a distance of 10 R? Okay, what's going to happen in this particular case? What's the, by what factor, okay, so by what factor is the force going to decrease? So remember, if the distance is the only thing changing, we can wrap the G, the M, and the P up into one quantity that we'll call K, all right? Um, actually, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's, first of all, calculate F2, which is going to be G, the mass of the Earth, times the mass of the person, divided by 10R now squared. And this is going to give us G times the mass of the Earth times the mass of the person divided by 100, whoop, 100 times R squared. Because you, you, you square the whole thing, right? And so notice that our original force, F1, was G, M, E, M, P over R squared, right? But here we have G, M, E, M, P over R squared. The only difference is this factor of 100. And so that's the factor by which the force goes down. So the answer is 100. You can get that very, very simply by noting, okay, the factor that the radius changes is 10. So that means the force goes down by 100, right? So that is how to attack problem number one. Just look at the number by which the factor changes and square that, and that's going to be the answer, okay? That's going to be your answer. And if the distance goes up, the force will go down, and if the distance goes down, the force will go up, all right? So there's homework problem number one.